I want to talk a little bit about the syllabus. You still need to read all of the syllabus and print it, have a copy of it for yourself, but I want to go over a couple of highlights. The first thing I'd like to start by mentioning is are the office hours. Make note of those, but make note that I also have my math lab, which has asked my instructor, which is wonderful for you to be able to click it. It sends the problem to me. I can work it out or talk to you about how to get it started and then send a picture and take it right back or send it right back. Also notice that there is by appointment and keep that in mind to stay in contact with me by email. My email address is right here. You see the required textbook and you see required supplies. I think you should get a three ring binder. Only scientific calculators are allowed and definitely working Lone Star and D2L more importantly <laughs> is that you have a reliable computer and reliable internet connection and then have some backup resources. I know that when our electricity has gone off we have gone to local restaurants and coffee shops that have Wi-Fi so have a plan, know their hours and be able to get your stuff done. To get a grade in this class it will be based on three parts. The first part would be the practice and preview assignments. In the calendar, when you watch the My Math Lab video, you'll see that I'm talking in the calendar that almost every lesson will have a preview assignment, then your in-class piece that you'll watch a video with, and then the practice assignment. The practices, previews, and some discussion questions will all be added up together, averaged up together to be 25% of your grade. There will be four tests this semester and one final. All of those will be proctored. So if you do not plan to take your test at a Lone Star College uh, system campus testing center, then you need to request a form from me as soon as possible and get set up with another proctor. We have many options, but that needs to be set up in a timely manner to be ready for the first test. In this class, you can earn an A, B, C, or D and at the very bottom with late and makeup work. You need to finish all assignments on time. And if there is some extenuating circumstance, you need to be communicating with me and um, we'll take it from there. I'd like you to note and notice the tutoring section. You need to have many resources to, to get help. You have already paid for tutoring with your, um, your fees that you paid to register for the classes. These links send you straight to the, uh, um, the schedules. Those can change and this will be very helpful to, for you to be able to get the most current schedule. The withdrawals and drops. Always talk to your professor before thinking about or actually dropping a class. You may be doing much better than what you think so I would ask you to, to talk to me um, before you withdraw because I'll be honest with you we'll look at your average and we'll look at the We'll look at where you really stand and if it's possible to still pass the class or not. I'm just asking that you talk to me before you drop the course. You do see the withdrawal date. Again, many things in here you need to be reading, but to highlight a few, constructive perseverance. A lot of times people think it's horrible to struggle in math, but then they don't think it's horrible to struggle to learn a sport. Mathematics is like a language, it's like a sport. A healthy struggle means you're learning. So when you do feel like you're struggling, that can be good and bad. You've got to have ways to deal with that, including tutoring, the Ask My Professor, making sure that you're doing all the work you're supposed to do with the previews and practices. But I need you to hear that constructive perseverance is vital for you to learn the information in this course. Here's a paragraph about online learning. Some people have misconceptions about that. I would read the online learning paragraph. Americans with Disabilities Statement. If you have accommodations and need those, email to me, um, some form of contact to me with the information. At the third day after class starts, if you can't get it by then, I need you to be emailing me to let me know when you will have it. The next part on academic integrity, just don't cheat. <laughs> There are many more links that the information is here in part, but the link contains full information like with Title IX, Equal Opportunity, Veterans, FERPA, our Behavior Intervention Team. But I do want to pause 
down at the emergency procedures and plea with you that if you are not already registered for our emergency notifications, those are used for various and sundry things, including weather or emergencies that are happening on our campus. Again, I encourage you to read the whole syllabus, but I wanted to point out a few things and especially this final note, get help, don't get behind. It is right to get help. There are many sources and resources available for help. I look forward to a great semester with you, but I wanted to highlight some of these things in our syllabus. Thank you.